Oh, hello. Yes, am I through to Eichley Congregation? You are. Oh, great. I'm on JW.org. That's where I got the number from. Um, okay. I was given a copy of your book, Beside the Carts, Enjoy Life Forever, which I'm going through. I've just got some questions, things I don't understand. Would somebody be able to help? Is that Richard? Uh, my name is Robert. Oh, Robert. I think I've spoken to you several times before. Right. Do you remember? Well, I'm still going through the book. Um, I'm finding oh, right. it very interesting. But you, you know, you had some very um, um, naughty questions about um, somebody in America that had left some shares to the organisation, and there were um, something to do with an armament company. Does that all that mean something to you? I think we were looking at lesson thirteen, and then then you said that there was. We joined the um, United Nations in 1992. United Nations organization and attended a meeting in Spain sometime. That was that was looking at lesson lesson 13 of the book. Um, I'm currently looking at lesson 19. Would you mind if I read paragraph one? Would that be okay? Well, you can do. Yeah. Well, I haven't committed it to memory, but uh, yeah, okay. go on. Um, so it's lesson 19, paragraph 1 on page 79. Jesus said God's word is truth. Like Jesus, Jehovah's Witnesses have always based their beliefs on God's word. Consider our modern day history. In the late 19th century, a group of Bible students carefully began to examine the Bible. They based their beliefs on what it said, even when those beliefs differed from church doctrines. Then they began sharing those Bible truths with others. And there's a star after the word others. It's to a footnote at the bottom of page 79 in the paper edition. But I noticed in the online version it's relegated to the end of the chapter. And the footnote says, quote, Our principal journal, The Watchtower, has published Bible truth consistently since 1879. I was a bit shocked at that statement. Yeah. I mean... Is it truthful when it says our principal journal, The Watchtower, has published Bible truth consistently since 1879? Is that really true? Has The Watchtower consistently published Bible truth since 1879? Is, is that a truthful statement? Are you looking for uh, Bible knowledge or are you trying to pick holes in in the dialogue on the on the uh printed page. I mean, our purpose is to talk to people and introduce people to God's kingdom. Is is that what you're looking for? Or are you trying to find a loophole in what we say or what somebody said? Or I asked a question. Yeah, but it's not nothing to do with the scriptures. No, I, I'm told you I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, should yeah, I throw so the book away? to enjoy life forever so, from sorry? the Bible's point of view? Sorry, do, is the book Enjoy Life Forever of use to me or not? I mean, should I throw it away? Or oh, is no, the book... if, you, if you read it in conjunction with your own Bible and check the scriptures, then hopefully you'll come to the same conclusion that we have. Right, so has the Watchtower published yeah, Bible... Yeah, nothing to do with anything, is it? It's, you're just lighting on, on a paragraph and, and trying to analyse that. I mean, you're obviously working towards saying it hasn't done. So, but that's nothing to do with what the Bible says. So what's not you know, do to you, do with do what the Bible says? Do you want to know about God's kingdom? Well, I'm, I'm looking at Lesson 19. Yeah, I know, but do you want to know about God's kingdom? Perhaps that's on another day. Pe We're not important, are we? Perhaps on another day we could discuss that, yes. But I prefer to do one thing at a time and focus on yeah. one thing, not to jump every five minutes to a new topic. Um, look, But if, if you'd like to somebody, somebody to call on you and, and have a discussion about God's kingdom from the Bible, then we'd be more than happy to do so. So if you want to give me your address... What is God's kingdom? No, what is your address? No, no, uh, what, I'm not giving my address. I don't want people to visit oh. me. What is All God's right. kingdom? You've mentioned... What is the purpose of this call, then? Well, I'm trying to understand your book, Enjoy Life Forever. You've just mentioned yep. God's kingdom several times. So I've asked you twice, now I'm asking you for the third time. 
as God's kingdom is so important for you, can you define what God's kingdom well, it's is? It's not important to us, is it? It was Jesus that said that his ministry was preaching the good news of the kingdom. Right, what is the good news of the kingdom? What is it? Mm. So have you no idea what it is? No, I'm, I'm asking you because I want to know whether you know what you're talking about. Oh, right. You see, What do you think Jesus uh, spoke about when he said this good news of the kingdom? What was he speaking I'm about? I'm asking you. You're telling me you want to send people to my house. I want to know yes. whether that would be a profitable thing. Most religious people, if you ask them a question, they can't answer it because they don't. They have never studied their own religion, yet alone the Bible or other people's religion. Yeah, well, that's true for most religions. Yeah, so I'm asking that. you for the fourth time, what is God's kingdom? What is God's kingdom? Yeah, I'm asking you to define it for me. It's yeah. a heavenly rulership with Jesus Christ as the king. Okay, I would agree it's Christ's rule, and I believe that yep. at the present time Christ is ruling from heaven, so we agree there. Your Good. book, could we look at Lesson 19, the chapter that I read? It says, our principal journal, The Watchtower, has published Bible truth consistently since yeah, 1879. Don't worry about that. Let, let's talk about the well, kingdom. I want to I mean, know whether just, that statement... You're on a paragraph there, that some, and, you, and you're going to... I can see where it's going. You're going to try and say that it, either it hasn't or it wasn't that year or it missed a year or... But, I mean, all that's nothing to do with God's kingdom, is it? God's kingdom is as is put in the Bible. Well, so it is, if, because God's if kingdom... Could, if you said to me, well, get your Bible out and look at, you know, Matthew seventeen thirty-six, just out of the blue... No idea what that says, but if you said that, well, that, that's fine, yeah. It is related to God's kingdom, if, because... If you could prove to me from God's could word I, the Bible... Could I, could I get a word in edgeways? I'm really, really trying <laughs> If, if... I forgot what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> look, this, uh, look, this book... I mean, was... are you genuinely looking from the tr for the truth from God's word the Bible, or are you really trying to pick holes in Jehovah's Witnesses? I speak Which to all is. sorts of different religious people, not just Jehovah's Witnesses. Right. I spoke to. I, can I? Could I finish me? my sentence? You cut. You cut me off. I spoke to yeah. a glazier at Nichristu the other day, and then on Facebook I had a conversation with someone in Sunjongji. It was very brief. They said they'd call me back, and they 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 haven't so so far. What what concerns me is that Pastor Russell said that Jesus Christ became the Almighty God at his resurrection. That's in the Watchtower, 1893, page 115 of the Yearly Bound Volumes. I've got a copy of that, Watchtower. Uh, Berean Bible Teacher's Manual, I've got a copy of that too. It's perhaps the clearest. It says on page 454, quoting Revelation 1.8, that Jesus Christ became the Almighty God at his resurrection. So, Russell believed Christ was the Archangel Michael. He was a created being, the Archangel Michael. He stopped being Michael, became a man. When he resurrected from the dead, it was as the Almighty God. That's in Brian Bible Teachers Manual, page 454. And the finished mystery, the first edition of the finished mystery, which I've got, Studies in Scripture, volume 7, on page 15 and page 240, says Jesus Christ is Almighty but what they mean by that is that he became Almighty God at his resurrection. Now, your book published in 2021, Enjoy Life Forever, that footnote on page 79 says, quote, Our principal, the journal, our principal journal, the Watchtower, has published Bible truth consistently since 1879. That's not true. Because what Russell said, that Jesus Christ became Almighty God at his resurrection, was not true. It was blasphemy. Well, it means that the people who wrote Enjoy Life Forever willfully and knowingly lied. Yeah. Because okay, they, so. they, they say in paragraph one, speaking of Russell and his associates, in the late 19th century, a group of Bible students, they mean Russell, carefully began to examine the Bible. They based Which their beliefs on what it yeah. said, even when those beliefs differed from church doctrine. Then they began yeah, sharing right. those Bible truths with others. They refer to Bible truths that Russell and his associates were, were preaching. They yeah. knew full well he was teaching absolute nonsense. He taught the, second, pre he is, he taught the second presence of Christ was from 1874. 
Rutherford maintained that until about 1930. The book Prophecy, published in 1929, on page 65, says the second presence of Christ is 1874. Today, you believe the second presence of Christ is 1914. How do you yeah, reconcile yeah. that? How can that be a Bible truth? Uh, it was truth, obviously, as they knew it at the time, but things have become clearer. How can you say it was uh, truth at the time? What you the... mean is that human Sorry. opinion... What you mean? What you mean is that human opinion you call truth. If it's by your religious leaders, you call that opinion truth. Truth is a a little phrase you use for the teachings of the leaders of your religious group. Okay. Um, R Russell also taught that Christ became king in eighteen seventy eight. That's in Studies in the Scripture, Volume Four, Page Six O Four. Wrong. No, you teach today oh, Christ right. became king in, in 1914. Yes. But no, Russell taught he became king in 1878. Yeah, well, it, it was wrong. But then it's not truth, is it? Well, no, but it was truth as he knew it. He didn't think, ah, now then. It, it, was, it is 1914, but I'll tell him it's 1874. That'll fox him. So, truth, you said it was truth as he knew it. Truth to you means the teaching of your leaders. He wasn't a man, was he? Pardon? He was just, he wasn't a Jehovah's Witness, he was a Bible student. He was just a man in the street looking at the Bible and trying to make sense of it as opposed to the way in which, just like the Protestant movement, looked at the Bible and thought, well, the Catholic Church isn't doing the right thing, we'll start, uh, we'll protest against it and start the Protestant movement, which they did, but they didn't get everything right, did they? They were still burning people at the stake and ducking witches and things like that. But you can't say, oh, well, the Protestants were completely wrong. They were wrong in some things. Um, there is no, the there is, excuse right me, to, excuse it? me, there is no book that I've read published recently, as your book Enjoy Life Forever was published in 2021. There's no book published by a Protestant in the last few years that says every single thing that Martin Luther and the other reformers did, was absolutely right. And every single thing they said was Bible truth. It was truth as they knew it at the time. No, it, no, it was not. The Bible they was truth. Deliberately, the Protestants didn't deliberately mislead no, people. No, you're not, you're not listening. The Protestant position, yeah, the Reformation... Excuse me, I was talking was. and you cut me off again. Um, <laughs> well, it's because... The it's Protestant exactly. position was that the Bible was truth. What Luther, Calvin, Knox, Zingwilly, and the other reformers did and wrote was not truth. It was their but, opinion about the Bible. Yeah, and nobody Bible today true. who is a Protestant says that every single thing Luther, Calvin, Zingwilly, Knox, and all the reformers did, they never made one mistake, and everything they said was the truth. No Protestant takes that position, but in your book, Enjoy Life Forever, published three years ago in 2021, we read, bottom of page 79, quote, Our principal journal, The Watchtower, has published Bible truth consistently since 1879. Your book is making a very different claim than the yeah, Protestant they reformers. They published Bible lies since 1879, wouldn't they? Pardon? I wouldn't say our Watchtower magazine has published Bible lies since 1879. Well, th they, they, they have published some Bible truth and some Bible lies. <laughs> they published yeah, some where, of each. I mean, yeah, let me give you another example. Where, where are you going with this? I, have, you, have you got your own religion? Do people follow you? I don't are want people a, to follow me. I don't a, go to any of, of the 21st century. I don't, I, don't, I don't go to any religious meetings at all. Right, so are you wanting people to follow you because no. you know the truth? No, I don't want people to follow me. I want people to follow Christ. Christ well, said, come to, can I another. finish my sentence, please? Christ oh, said man. in Matthew eleven twenty eight, come unto me, all you who are heavily laden, and I will give yeah, you yeah, rest. Yeah. So, pe so people are told to follow Christ, Matthew eleven Just twenty eight, not me. Yeah. Not me, not not thing. not the Protestant reformers, and not the Jehovah's Witness nine-man no. governing body no. in New York. We're told to but, follow Christ. 
Yeah, so you feel that each individual person follows Christ, does as he thinks is the best from his interpretation of the Bible, and, and Jesus will be happy. Is that right? Well, obviously, people have to follow Christ from yeah, their own... Right? Could I finish my want? sentence? I get two words out and you <laughs> cut me off. Why, you, you must be a, a, dangerous, a dangerous driver. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very slow driver. <laughs> <laughs> um, people are obviously going to follow Christ to the best of their ability as they see fit. Individually. Well, of course, people are individuals. Yeah, but didn't Jesus set up an organisation when he was on earth? Well, you need to, you need to, you need to prove it. Don't just tell no, me that. We're, it, we're we're jumping away from lesson nineteen all the time. You're always yeah, deflecting no, onto other topics. What, what I'm trying to get to behind all this, but you won't let me, is what you want us to do. What what do you want us to do? Um, is it? I want what you, you want to admit to that the Watchtower has not published Bible truth consistently and, since and 1879. Then what would you do then? Well, that's that's it, really. Oh, <laughs> okay. it would be nice if Jehovah's Witnesses were to be truthful, and not yeah. maintain and the lies, what? and not it would be good if Jehovah's Witnesses, who I speak to, I speak to others as well, and other religious yeah. groups, it would be nice if Jehovah's Witnesses today in twenty twenty four were to come clean and admit that what is said in Lesson Nineteen of Enjoy Life Forever, a book published three years ago. It's not true. It's a lie. Okay. Yeah. They know okay. that the Watchtower has okay. not published Bible truths consistently since 1879. I will agree. Well, if they did that, I will agree. I will agree that some of the things they say is truth. If the Watchtower says that there's four Gospels, that's, that's truth. I would agree with that. If the Watchtower says that uh, Gabriel was an angel, I would agree with that. It's truth. Yeah. But other things that the Watchtower says are not true. For instance, in the Watchtower... Zion's Watchtower. Yeah, where, where is it leading? I still can't understand. Where we you, have what you want. to lead what to be. Ob we have to be obedient to Christ. Yeah. Okay. So you want us all to. You want Jehovah's Witnesses to disband and all. I didn't say that. I never Christ said that. You put words in my mouth. I never said so what, disband. Okay. Well, tell me what do you want us to do. I want you to be more biblical. I want you to obey Scripture. Okay. This book still, should be edited and it should work. state it should state the Watchtower has published some Bible truths and some Bible lies since 1879 okay. because that's the truth. For instance, okay. another, an, another a Bible lie is that you're neutral in warfare. Zion's Watchtower and Herod of Christ's Presence, 15th of May 1918, page 6257. I have a copy. It states that... Um, the, the readers of the Watchtower in America are encouraged by um, Judge Rutherford, who wrote this article, to purchase Liberty Bonds, also known as yeah, Liberty you, Loans. Yeah, you've told me that before. It's, yeah, it's fine, yeah, yeah. So they were not yeah. neutral in warfare. And yet okay. this book, Enjoy Life Forever, on Lesson That's 13, it gives the... It, the it's, it, falsely, it falsely states in Lesson 13 that Jehovah's Witnesses today are neutral in warfare and politics. That is a lie. For the last century, Jehovah's Witnesses have been meddling well, in politics and meddling in warfare. Yeah, well, you know that that's not true. But anyway, anyway so I think... Then explain that do, watchtower. What? Explain what Zion's Watchtower, 15th of May, 1918, where... 1918? Goodness me, they were celebrating Christmas in 1918. They were doing all sorts of things that weren't biblical, but... So, I mean, so you admit they were doing things that were not biblical. Why yeah. then does your book on Everybody page 79, the footnote at the bottom of... The f we admit it. Right, you admit it. You're admitting it to me now. Then why does your book lie? Why does this book on page 79... Um, the end of the chapter oh, in the online version me, say, quote, let me finish my sentence. Come on, yeah, let me okay. finish my sentence. You've our principal journal, <laughs> our principal journal, the Watchtower, yeah, has so published you've, Bible you've truth consistently what since 1879. Be, what do you want us to do? Uh, be honest and admit Probably that is a lie. You have the Watchtower has not published Bible truth consistently since 1879. It has published some Bible truth, but, but it's have, also published Bible lies. And I want them so to be you, honest. 
Have the... you written to our governing body and pointed out these things to them and asked them to publish a retraction? That's the best thing to do, I think. And they're going to ignore me just as if I were to write to the Pope, they would ignore me. <laughs> yeah, that's probably yeah. true. Yeah, probably yeah ex- exactly. And... Most of these religious <laughs> leaders are all the same. They're all in it for the money and the power that they get over other yeah, people. I don't know um, much but I have, I have, interestingly enough, only two days ago, I phoned the Bethel in, oh, Chelms, in Chelmsford. I, I spoke yeah. to um, a guy on the service, service desk. Service desk, yeah, yeah. And I had to use my best... I do a few impersonations. I, I had to use my <laughs> best Mrs. Thatcher accent like this because they recognise my voice. And so You're if I ready. deepen my voice and be quiet because I'm talking, then I can correct them the way I used to correct my cabinet. So I, I yeah. spoke to him in my best Mrs. Thatcher accent. OK, yeah. And, and how far did he get? Well, not very far at all. They, they didn't really want okay. to listen. They, they told me that they don't deal with doctrinal questions on the service desk. And I should right, speak okay. to people at the level of the local congregation. So here I am talking to you. Yeah, low down, uh, just scullerous slave, yes. So I, I still don't know where you want to go with this, Robert. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think you're searching for truth. I don't. I think you're just wanting to to um, pick holes in the things that Jehovah's Witnesses have published. But I mean, it's like excuse me, like picking holes in what the excuse National me. Health Service have done in the past. I excuse mean, me. They used Instead of giving blood transfusions, they used to let blood in the past. But you can't write to the National Health Service today and say, in 1789, you used to let blood as a as a, as a cure for various diseases. And why don't you? Um, Can I respond? You know? Can I respond? Yeah. The National yeah. Health Service does not claim to be God's appointed prophet on earth, appointed in the year 1919. The National Health Service does not claim that everything it does is Bible truth. Yeah, but they thought it was truth, else they wouldn't have done it, would they? They didn't claim the power of they Jehovah God. Was, they was did correct. not claim at any time the National Health Service has never claimed at any time that it represents Jehovah God and that it is Jehovah God's sole representative on earth appointed in the year 1919. The National Health Service has never said it is published no, it, Bible it, truth it, it consistently. Giving the truth but the, but the Jehovah's... But, oh, come on, let me finish my sentence. We're having such no, fun. We're having changed, such fun no, here. But the Jehovah's <laughs> Witnesses claim they do represent Jehovah yeah, God. What do you want us to do? Change, be honest. Be honest. Be honest and truthful. Me personally? Uh, yes, because if you were an honest Christian man, yeah. you would not go door to door or speak to people at the carts and hand out literature like the Watchtower and enjoy life forever without telling people, look, I want to be honest with you. When our book says our principal journal has published Bible truth consistently since 1879, here on page 79 of the paper edition, you should be honest and you should say, by the way, that is not true. That's actually a lie. And our leaders ought to change because that Robert because they know full mistake. well that that is a complete and utter lie. Yes. Yeah. Um, but Jehovah's Witnesses that, worship they're Jesus. Not in, they're not infallible. Then why they're should I want liars. any? Then then why should I want anything to do with liars who admit they're not infallible? I'm not referring to you personally, sir. I'm referring to the Watchtower. That's all right. I, I, no, I'm not. I'm not calling you a liar, sir. I'm calling the no, Watchtower no, 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 liars. All right, you can do. No, no, I don't wish to do Fine. that, sir. Um, yeah, but I, th- I still think you should you should be associated with. Um, some true, something that you consider to be the true religion today. I can't because you can't just. I be can't. A, you can't just be on your I own. I can't. Jesus Christ. I can't. You're not listening to me. I can't. I would face a six-month prison sentence if I entered any church or kingdom hall in Britain before 2031. You would. Yes. Why? What have you done? Um. Well, I I criticised uh, uh certain elders in um. At Launceston and Tiverton, in text, I mentioned a certain royal commission that took place somewhere uh, in a different part of the world. And I went to court. The Jehovah's Witnesses took me to court. The case was thrown out. 
but in 2021, I was given a 10-year criminal restraining order not to enter oh, yeah. any church or kingdom hall, and I'm not supposed to question, um, and I'm not supposed to, I don't know, it's very vague, but somehow I'm not supposed to sort of disagree with Christians or Jehovah's Witnesses. So when I, yeah, when I have these conversations... Well, afternoon, you'll get a knock on the door and go straight to jail now. <laughs> well, well, I've got 2,850-something videos up on YouTube bank, yeah. of my discussions with Jehovah's Witnesses. I just titled yeah. them Debating Jehovah's Witnesses because yeah, um, okay. um, the restraining order is so vague. But um, we'll be going back to court again, hopefully. I will be challenging that. And I'll be pointing out I have 40 recordings of Jehovah's Witnesses in Britain saying that the Queen, the late Queen Elizabeth II, ruled by the authority of the devil. I've got 40 yeah. videos up on YouTube of various British JW elders uh, making that statement. Well, it's good job I didn't say that, didn't I? I'll say I'll be one of them. <laughs> well, do you believe that all governments belong to Satan? That's no, in I'm not going down that path. You. Oh, that's again. Well, hold on. That's in your book. What can the Bible teach us? Oh, Page thirty-three, no. at the bottom of paragraph <laughs> eleven. I'm, I'm quoting this from Robert, memory. I haven't got time for this sparring. No, no I'm um, quoting your literature. But, I'm quoting. Yeah, no, but you're not. You're not. You're not. Um, it says. Honestly, it says. Quote. All governments belong to Satan. Oh, yeah. Now, come on, listen to me. Be quiet and listen to Mrs. Thatcher. Why? (laughs) Explain the fact that your book, published by the Watchtower, says all governments belong to Satan. Is that true or is that a lie? You tell me. No, no. You, you're doing, you're, you keep throwing questions back at me. I ask you a question, oh, God, you don't no, answer. Yeah, you... All these Jehovah's Witness elders, they're all the same. This is what they learn. Never answer a question, just throw the question back at the other no, person. We, we, we haven't got time to learn things like that, to be honest. I've just learned that in life, that's all. Do, yeah. you, do you believe that all no. governments belong to Satan? No, I'm not going down that path, because you know, you know the answer to these questions. Um... What I'm, about? I'm going to have to go, Robert, because I haven't got the time to be sparring like this, and you're not. You're well, not, well, you're not doing very well, are you? You're, you're not, not doing very not, well. No, you wouldn't make no, much of a okay, boxer. I'm not met my match with you. Goodness me! I know, I know, I know. Just 1836 studies in the scriptures. I've it, never seen studies in the scriptures apart from pictures, and you've got them all. So you've done very well, and and I wish you all the best in your endeavours but you're never going to find the truth and you're not going to get in God's kingdom are you because you're not associated with any religious organisation which um, where does the Bible say hold on hold on hold on hold on where does the Bible say where does the Bible say I have to be associated with a religious organisation to get into God's kingdom show me the verse in the Bible that says that I I can do that quite easily by saying Jesus started a congregation didn't he and the apostles were the elders and the governing body, and uh, they met deflection. Uh, together all over the deflection. Middle East and, sorry, and Hampshire. No, I Did said you deflection. You, you kind of deflect more than a solar panel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Look, really where does already. the Bible say I have to attend um, in, in order to get into God's kingdom? Where does it say I have to attend a certain fellowship to get into God's kingdom? There are many, many Christians, especially in the early years of the church, who were put into prison, into solitary confinement. Um, the, all of the apostles, what for, what for all, of, all of the apostles except for John were executed. Yeah, and and I think John, they tried to boil him alive. And I think somehow he somehow survived. All of them would have been in solitary confinement or what some sort of, pu- please let me finish my sentence. All of them would be in solitary confinement or some sort of prison before their execution. So by your definition, because they weren't attending a fellowship, because they're in solitary confinement in prison, therefore they can't get into God's kingdom. Can you see how well, stupid bit, that is? That's, that's, a, a, that's hard, a very foolish... It? It's, it's like saying because they've been executed, they can't attend a meeting. Well, that's quite true. No, that's, that's not what I said. I didn't say because anyway, they've been executed. You know I said... That, you know the truth and you're not speaking it so I'm, I'm really going now honestly D- just just one all, more all thing I want to spoil endeavor. you I want to spoil you with one more comment the nation shall know that I am Jehovah Howe 
published in 1971. I've got a oh, copy. Oh, goodness me. You know Page 363 enough. says that Britain <laughs> and America together are the false prophet of the book of Revelation who get their authority from Satan the devil. Is that true or is that false? So if, if you don't think it's true... Who is it talking about? Again, you throw the question back at me. Yeah, but I've got to. Who is it talking about? It says that Britain and America yeah, together the says, are the false prophet of the book about? of Revelation who get their authority from Satan the devil. Is <laughs> that true or if that's Robert. false? If that's I've false, you need to stand up in honestly, the congregation. I haven't got the time to be sparring like this with no nothing at the end of it. I'd give you all the time in the world mm. if you're a, an honest person looking for the truth, but you're, you're just wanting to spar. But the so truth for you is following your leaders, isn't it? It's not I've what the Bible them. says. The truth for you is the latest nonsense that, that comes out of... As you have. The, the truth well, for you is the latest Bible teaching of your leaders in America. Start reading that. Hmm? Go back to your Bible and start reading that, and then you'll find the truth. Then, then give me a ring. <laughs> you okay, won't talk I'm to me again. Now. It's been most enlightening. Uh, it, has, it hasn't been fun. Uh, it hasn't been fun, has it? Well, I don't know. You never really have these sort of discussions, generally speaking, with people, do you? Because they don't, right. uh, they don't have, a, have such an in-depth interest, do they? Oh. Either in the Bible or anything else, to be honest. Well, it's a very well, secular society that we live in, isn't it? Well, if you'd go onto YouTube and type the congregation name, Ikeley, it'll be numbered 6,850-something. It'll be up on YouTube in a, in a couple of hours. All right. Okay, thank you, then. Okay, Robert. Bye. Bye.